Hey guys, how are you doing today? My name is Harry and I'm back with another Star vs the Forces of Evil Season 4 Theory. It's another Eclipsa one and today we'll be discussing her need for the regeneration of the Magic Book of Spells. Today we will be referring to the end of the latest episode, Surviving the Spider Bites, where Eclipsa tells Star that she has been looking for the Book of Spells. She states that this is because she wants to get better at magic, and despite her inventing some of the most powerful spells, she only knows how to do magic for herself. This opposes Star's immediate assumption of Eclipsa wanting to free Globgor by using the book. According to Eclipsa, Glossaric is in possession of silkworms which can recreate anything so long as there's a small piece of it left. This is possible since Star has a piece of the book left that they found from the Sanctuary after she defeated Toffee. However, Star told Eclipsa that she didn't know anything about any remaining pieces. This could show that Star doesn't completely trust Eclipsa like her mum and thinks that she will try to free Globgor. However, there is some proof that despite the sketchiness of it, Eclipsa will not use the book to free Globgor. If she really wanted to free Globgor, there are multiple ways in which she could do so. First of all, there's Glosseric, who we have seen to be able to break Rombulus's crystals before. You may say that Glosseric would refuse doing that, however he has agreed to mend the book if a remaining piece has been found. You could then argue that Glosseric has only agreed to mend the book because Eclipsa genuinely wants to get better at magic and not free Globgor. But then Glosseric will know the truth of her intentions, having some form of future vision, as seen in the past. Another point to bring up is that Eclipsa can easily get her hands on a copy of the book via the Royal Archives. In the episode Butterfly Trap, during Eclipsa's trial, a box of truth shows a hologram of the Book of Spells from the Archives after it was destroyed, meaning the information is still accessible. So I think it is safe to say that if Eclipsa still wanted to free Globgor, she would. However, she isn't, as I quote, she is doing it for the good of the kingdom. This alone shows how she simply cannot be evil despite her dark appearance and perhaps occasional overreactions. So what do you guys think? Do you think Globgor will be released before the end of the show? If so, how do you think Eclipsa will manage it? Let me know in the comments section below. Until then, please leave a like and don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell for more videos like this in the future. My name is Harry and I will see you in the next video. I am yours. Let's make magic and reach for the stars. Let's make magic and reach for the stars. Here I am, this is me, broken hearted but finally free, never quite fit the mold, just not great at doing what I'm told, now I'm here in your world, so much bigger from my point of view, centuries from my home. Can't go back, so let's start something